Hello there, fight friends. We're joined with Devin the Dream Lose, who will be fighting this Saturday night in Shapoki, Minnesota, for the Ignite Fights Vacant Flyweight Championship against Sean Stevens. Devin, welcome to the show. Great to have. I'm um, honored to be on. Uh, it's great to be on the show. Um, I'm excited to fight this weekend, you know, and uh, it's good to uh, talk to you here. Oh, thank you. It's really good to talk with you, too. A few weeks ago, we mentioned briefly, I spoke with your teammate, Kelton Sneavy, who fought a while back, and he was victorious. Tell me a little bit about the gym that you and Kelton train at together, or your training, how that looks like, and where you live. Um, So we're at Leading Edge MMA. Uh, We're in Thunder Bay, Ontario. You know, we're not a massive gym by any means, but we, we got a few pros, me and Kelton. Um, kind of leading the charge here and then a bunch of great training partners, uh, you know, just a little bit more of a traditional gym where we have a lot of, you know, boxing program, individual, really high level wrestlers, jujitsu, you know, for us, the MMA guys, our job is just kind of putting it together. Um, yeah. So, you know, we don't have the most, uh, most resources like some of these big gyms, but for me, that's why, you know, uh, most training camps, I do travel for at least a month and, uh, get the high level training needed to fight uh, in these title fights. So, but I mean, it's great, great training back home. Um, you're with guys that you could trust and that want the best for you. Um, I feel like some big gyms don't offer that. So it's uh, great. Tell us about your background in fighting. What led you to it and what brought your, uh, your interest into the sport? Um, I mean, I was just a fan from when I was young, you know, I really, I really enjoyed, uh, when, as soon as I started watching fighting, I just watched it and I knew I'm like, that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. Like, you know, when I was young, I just was like, that's what I, that's the path I want to take wherever, wherever, whatever I have to do to get there, I'll do. I grew up in a small town, uh, called Dryden close to Thunder Bay here in Ontario. We didn't have any MMA or anything like that. We just had a wrestling team. You know, I, I grew up watching Matt Hughes, George St. Pierre, guys like that and they were great wrestlers so I you know I joined the wrestling team and then basically the rest is history I've been chasing the MMA dream since then so since I was a kid wow that's fantastic just a little side note and fun fact about me the the first and only time I was ever fired from a job I think I was 18 or 19 years old in Yellowknife uh, Northwest Territories and my manager came up there from Dryden Ontario and I've hated the place ever since no. Nah. Well, I'm I mean, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give you a reason to love it, but uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't live there anymore. But it's uh, yeah, it, it's a good, it's a good little small town. But it's one of those towns that you know, if you're gonna do, uh, if you're gonna do anything big, for the most part, you got to move out and you know, get to bigger cities where there's more people and more, more, more things happening. But it's a great little town. I'm sure it is. I was just teasing, by the way. I don't really hate it, and I don't nah, even know why. I remember good. he was from Dyne. But anyway, moving on. That's funny. <laughs> So being in Thunder Bay, we talked about this briefly, Uh, when it comes to being awareness of fighters and fight camps and training and going to to different uh, fight organizations and fighting, it's a lot easier when there's a group of guys going or whether from a big town or there's lots of media. Tell me about the challenges of, 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 uh, of guys like you and Kelton in Thunder Bay, which is on the smaller side, I, I think it's fair to say, and just getting yeah. that awareness of your name out there. Because, you know, quite honest, I only found out about you two you know, on social media, like I found out that I think you and Kelton were going to, I don't remember what, what American state, but it's oftentimes you, you, you fighting by yourself. You're the only Canadian in the card or Kelton's the only Canadian in the card. Yeah. What's, what's that like for that situation? Um, I mean, it's been, uh, you know, it's, it's been, I wouldn't say challenging, um, like super challenging or anything like that, but it's more just like, you know, we kind of have, uh, at first, when I started, it was kind of like you got to take what you get. You know, there's no mm-hmm. no favorable matchups, no nothing like that. It's either, you know, you reach out to promotions or they reach out to you, and it's like, hey, here's the fight, take it or leave it. You know, and I'm I've always been like a, you know, a guy that loves to take opportunities. So you know, I've fought all over in Canada, in the U.S., taking fights, and I've never really had a say in it. I've never asked for a single opponent or anything like that. It's always just been like, hey, this is the next guy. Uh, take it or leave it type of thing and you know I feel like that uh, you know it really tests you and it's uh, there's a lot a lot of good things that come from it you know obviously you could build a crazy record fighting in local shows where you, all the opponents are handpicked for your style blah 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 but I feel like I've already fought basically every style that, that you're going to face in MMA you know I fought the strikers fought the wrestlers fought the jiu-jitsu guys basically fought them all and you know at 135 and 25 so I feel like Though that is the big challenge is we don't have a, a local promotion or media pushing us. So we got to go out there and we got to let our fight, let our fighting do the talking. Um, and then obviously guys like you and, you know, a lot of media that's catches on 
um, they got to find you and uh, give you their time. But I mean, that's the beauty of social media. I feel like it's uh, pretty easy to connect, get your name out there and just, uh, yeah, just try to push, push your fights yourself. So I feel like the big thing is, yeah, a lot of us guys like me and Kelton is we got to do everything ourselves. But I mean, it makes it e- uh, even more rewarding, so to say. I wonder if something like uh, when you've got a smaller team like you do and a small group like you and Kelton, I wonder if that brings you closer together and tighter as a group as opposed to maybe a bigger team where they have a whole bunch of fighters and they all have their own uh, the schedules, right? Like there's different fight camps going on at different times. Yeah, I, I, I think so. I've been to the big gyms and I see the benefit of both. You know, I've been to TriStar, Extreme Couture. Um, you know, I went to Thailand, trained at Bang Tao, um, you know, all the big gyms um you know rufus sport you name it been to a lot of big gyms and you kind of see that there's always a divide there you know and the divides you know people it's just individuals right people you know like people that are similar to them and you know you're not people aren't giving you the best training possible you ask them hey i need you to try to wrestle me in our mma rounds and they're just doing what's best for them right so they won't even shoot once if you ask them the benefit of being at a small gym is i could ask all my training partners hey i this is exactly what i need you to do and they'll do it for you um, so I think we have a, a tight knit bond at our gym with the small amount of people we have, but obviously we don't have the, all the styles and the, you know, the level of certain fighters. So that's why, you know, I, I feel like I have the best of both worlds. I, tr- I get to travel a lot, which I'm not a big traveler, but if it, if it has anything to do with fighting, I love traveling. You know, if I get to fly to a, a new city and fight somebody or fly to a new gym and train with a bunch of killers, sign me up. So, I mean, I think I'm, I'm, I've kind of got it down to the best of both worlds. Describe your fighting style and how you think that can work to your advantage against Sean Stebbins this Saturday night. Uh, I think, I, I, you know, I got a pressure heavy style. I like to go forward and I like to just fight. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm not against people that like to move a lot. And I like to move sometimes, you know, like you, you can't be stupid in there. But for me, it's my, my style is just to fight. You know, when it, when it gets dimmed down to simple turns, I just like to fight. I want to go forward. I want to punch you in the face. I want to kick you in the face. I want to knee you in the face. I want you to try to do the same, and I want to see who's better. So I've never been in a boring fight. I don't plan on it. Um, I'm looking to come and finish this guy in a, in spectacular fashion. But, yeah, it's just, you know, I'm pressure-heavy style. I come from a wrestling background, so I've used a lot of grappling in my fights. But Sean, is a, he's a decorated wrestler. So, I mean, I think he's going to be looking for the takedown more than me. So I think I'm just going to be able to show more layers to my game that uh, you're not safe just because you're a wrestler. Awesome. Well, that's a good perspective to have. Devin, uh, that's all I got for you, my man. I just want to thank you for speaking with us. Before we get going, is there anything you'd like to say? Anyone you'd like to thank? Oh, just thank you. Thank you to my team, all my sponsors, everything like that. You know, it's uh, it's almost game time. You know, we're, what, five, six days away. Um, Yeah, just tune into the fight. It's on spectationsports.com. I'm always in an exciting fight. I'm going to win my first professional title and uh, try to prove here that I'm ready for the big league. So if you could tune in, tune in. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. And thank you, Andy, for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Oh, anytime, for sure, Devin. It's, I appreciate your time, and I'm sure Cand is rooting for you this weekend, this Saturday night, for your first title fight. There you go, MMA fans. Make sure you're watching Devin the Dream Lose fight for the Ignite Fights vacant uh, featherweight championship this weekend.